Okay, so what we're doing here today is a quick little review of the MTech 2i, a digital readout from the drostore.com. Um, I got no affiliation, I just bought one because it was cheap. Let me just zero this baby out. Um, it's mounted on a 13x42 Challenger lathe, which is basically your typical Taiwan uh, castings with a bit different handles and stuff. It normally has a safety cover here, I got it off, I was playing with the gears and put a spider on here for working with the uh, barrels. Uh, the lathe I like uh, actually turned out quite well. This, uh, I wanted a digital readout and I looked into a few different systems, the faggers, the Midida Toyo or Midida whatever, I don't know what the fuck they're called. Um, and they look good though. Um, the glass scales looked expensive anywhere local I could find, which is Calgary. Um, and the digital readouts were also quite pricey. So I actually searched online, found these on eBay, and they're so cheap, I thought, you know what, I gotta give it a whirl, it might work fine, we'll see. And these are out of Singapore, I think. Um, and so far it seems good. I've done a little bit of testing with it to try messing it up with coolant and cutting chips and stuff, and it seems, seems durable. Um, install, of course, wasn't the easiest in the world, but wasn't terrible either. It came with pretty much everything you needed. I like dealing with standard fasteners. It came with metric stuff. You know, I spent 15 bucks and went to a bolt supply house and bought a whole bunch of different uh, Allen heads that were standard. So I ran, you know, 1024 Allen head screws for the bigger ones and uh, what did I run, 832 uh, or 832 for the smaller ones. It's just, I like keeping things standard, that's all. Um, it's kind of a mix on the machine now because most of this other stuff's metric, but whatever. The readout's nice. It would be the same one you'd use on a mill. Uh, it's only two axis, of course. But uh, it's got a lot of functions that I probably won't really use on a lathe. Um, you can change the resolution of the X or Y axis to a multitude of different resolutions. So that's handy for figuring out your true diameter. You can enter in any value for there. So if I wanted, if I had my tool piece touched against it, let's say two inch work piece, so I knew it was zeroed out, I could hit enter, and there would be, my tool would kind of be programmed in the right position. I think there's, uh, it's set up so you can save different tool configurations, um, where it is in relation to the, the work piece, but I probably won't do that. Uh, calculator's handy, normal calculator, you can enter the values after you calculate them into here, which is kind of handy. Um, the glass scales, let me take the camera off the, uh, tripod here, it's going to get shaky. The glass scales were cheap too, you know, I got this whole setup for let's say, well, under 400 bucks Canadian. And basically, um, it came with everything I needed, like I was saying. Now the glass scales behind here, uh, it came with this nice machined cover um, that mounts to a bar it came with, that you just mount the, the bar to the cross side with two screws, then everything mounts to it. It was actually really nice. Um, on the cross side here, of course, my glass scale, um, moves and the reader head is stays fixed. This is my setup. I've ran uh, coolant over this cover and chips and everything, the worst as I could do for about an hour or two hours and didn't get in anything, so that works well. Um, that's my x axis. For the y axis, let me get down here and try not to mess anything up. Can you see that at all? Basically, I've got a a, uh, let me try, turn it this way. Taper attachment here that makes this easy. It gave me a nice surface to mount my reader head to there. That's pretty good. Um, let me see if I can hold this while I turn the, move the Y axis. So it's got this nice big aluminum cover um, for the Y axis. And I came with these brackets. And uh, actually it worked really well. All I had to do is tap stuff and mounted my reader head so it moves with the cross side. As you can see here, and uh, the scale is very well protected with these aluminum covers. You can see the scale back behind there. But uh, it, it works really well. Um, it seems very well protected. It came with all these covers and everything. And uh, I have to say, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I got a good deal on the slave. This thing seems, uh, well, seems, doesn't seem cheap, but it was cheap kind of thing. And uh, it works, it seems very accurate. I've tested it with my dial indicators and 
can't find any major um, discrepancies in, in how it's measuring. You know, it's within half a thousandth pretty much over the entire length of the y-axis and the x-axis. Now, part of that comes down to install. I took an entire day and installed it to within a thousandth along the whole length of um, either of the scales. So that makes it uh, work better too. But overall, I'm very happy with it. I would recommend it at this point. I, I've only had it installed for really, I don't know, 10 hours of machine time. So I haven't really durability tested it that much, but it works great so far. And uh, I, I'm happy with it. So if you want to try a cheaper alternative for a DRO, um, I'd be confident in saying give it a whirl. If, you, if you're comfortable sending your money away, though, to a different country, which you always prefer not to do, but sometimes it's just one of those things. You save yourself over twice as much money, you got to kind of justify it. Anyways, best of luck with whatever your choices are.